Elk and welcome, one and all, to the Fearsome Foursome Extravaganza. Yes, today we are doing all four, um, whatchamacallit? That's embarrassing, isn't it? Forgot about that. All four gigantic enemies. Well, not quite. So first up is Daedal Axe. Uh, he's very similar to Daedal Sword. He's got a big axe, he swings it around. He's a bunch of chest lasers and chest explosions, body blah blah blah. You know the drill. So, I guess I should briefly explain the gigantic enemies to those who don't know. Gigantic enemies, well, they've been changed. They only spawn during thunderstorms, as you can see. Uh, and their main shtick is that, well, it used to be that they would only stick around for the duration of that thunderstorm. It used to be, I don't know how long it was, it was like 3-4 minutes maybe? There was some hint that it might be tied to specific, I guess, stuff, you could say? Oh, so you can see me using the Ranger class. Quite a fun class, I must say. Eh, kinda. But either way, point is that it used to be that this would... They would despawn as soon as the sun storm ended, or... You know, it would take like 10-15 seconds for it to happen. Maybe 5. But the point is, the sun storm ends, those guys are gone. And that's basically, that's, that's the whole thing. Or their shtick, if you will. Um... This was changed recently, so that they spawn during thunderstorms, but they'll stay as long as it takes to kill them, so... Unfortunately, they they did change it so that they spawn at, as you could say, random intervals, so you don't... Previously, there was a timer, and you could literally check to see when they would show up, but... Now... Nah, you can't do that anymore. So, it, they made it slightly easier and also slightly harder at the same time. So, you know... Eh... Either way, this guy will go red once he gets half health right now. It's a bit hard to tell because it's all purpley, but yeah, it should be fairly obvious. The other thing to note is that uh, I've mentioned at the right start of this video, which was two minutes ago, uh, that this was not quite all of the gigantic enemies, and that is correct. Recently, Gigantic's Auric, who we will see at the very end, so we've got a ways to go, was replaced with Gigantic's Nex Alio. Same spawn place, which is South Alio, so... For those who don't know, they spawn in very specific places, so... Daedal Axe is North Alio. Uh... Uh, what is it? Nogleth is Central Alio. Varus is West Alio, and Auric used to be South Alio, but he was replaced with... Next Alio. But there's one more place where they can spawn, and that is Halfana Lake. Now, for those of you who know, or don't know, Alphana Lake is defaultly set to level 60, and the Daedalus tend to spawn about 4 levels above the level of the place they spawn in. So, what that means is that the Daedal Sword that spawns there is level 64. So, he takes a while to kill. First off, because obviously he's level 64, he has a crap ton of health. And secondly, because... Uh, PSO2 New Genesis has this thing where if you are not... You are substantially, like, five or so levels below the level of the thing you're trying to kill, it gives you a... I guess you could call it a low-level debuff, where you'll only do one or two hits of damage, as opposed to what you would normally be doing. So, there is a group that killed him, although it took about two hours, and so I thought about, eh, maybe trying to get a recording of it, but honestly... He doesn't seem to drop much of anything, and honest, and it just takes way too long. But, uh, yeah, we get intercepted by an orc guy in the middle of this. This actually made me worry that we weren't going to beat him, but we did end up beating him well enough, so... Yeah, who cares? Who cares? Uh, but yeah, it's, that's a bit of annoying. They spawn in, like, the open world, and... In sometimes just like these random trials will pop up and it's like, oh great, now I have this guy just hanging around, shooting at people, lowering our DPS. How fun. Yeah. The good news is that one of the really cool things about him is that you get these huge 32 man sort of parties building up to try and kill these guys, although you don't technically need to have 32 people anymore because the main reason is just because no one no one cares now. Because you, you can take as long as you want to. So technically you can solo these guys, although I wouldn't recommend it. They hit like a truck. These guys can, as you can see, they can very easily one-shot you. Like the most you can survive is two hits, maybe. 
if you're lucky. If you build, like, full armor and health, which I don't like doing. I think that's kind of boring. I like I like doing damage, alright? That's just me. Uh, either way, we should be getting close to the end of Mr. Dave Act here in just a few seconds. So, once we finally laser him down, yeah, we're going to see there we go. So now I have brutally murdered him. And so now we shall move on to Varus. Yes, so this is a level one to Varus. You can see I'm running up here to try and kill this guy. So Varus, I believe I showed him once before in my whatchamacallit. Uh in this case me. My next Vera suppression video. So this is kind of He's the same, it's a bit hard to see him here through the trees, but he works, I didn't explain him much, but he's a bit interesting. He's this sort of weird floaty guy, he's got these six little arms on, these little, like, gloves on these arms, and he can shoot them out, he can turn them into a giant spinny thing, like that, he can fire them out along the ground, and then when he gets red, he gets a few more attacks as well. So, he's a bit of an oddball, he's not quite like a lot of the other creatures. Oh yeah, he uses this little spin drill attack. There's one, there's some character that I, I'm pretty sure is famous for using that, but I can't remember what they're called, what, what, or what their name would be, so, whatever. He also has like a nice, all, all these guys have very obvious phase transitions, which make them very cool. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell, say why I wasn't including Nex Alio. So Nex Alio has a crap ton of health, much more than I expected, and the, honestly, the recording of the fight I got, I did with him, just took like forever, so he will be his own video, which will be coming out hopefully sometime about a week, for, week or so from now. That's, that's that's when he should be coming out. Yeah, you can see the glow fairing on the ground, but yeah, he just took too long. I thought about throwing him in this video, but honestly, he just took way too long, so he will be his own video sometime in the future. When? I'm not 100% sure, but well, I have a pretty decent idea about a week from now, but he will, be, he will be, he will be shown, he will be viewable by all. So there you go. Yeah, there we go. Me dying again. Wonderful. Uh, yeah. I, I believe it also used to be that because you could predict these guys, you could also choose where they spawn, which will become relevant later. But yeah, like I said, they do a crap ton of damage. These guys just... It hit like a truck. So, uh, after Gigantic's next Alio, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing. I have a couple of decent, like, decent video ideas, although I'm not 100% sure they fit with the channel. I thought about making a second channel for just other stuff that I wanted to do, but, you know, oh yeah, there you go. He turns this into his second base where he gets his, like, head jetpack. I don't know. But yeah, I have thought about making a second channel Oh, excuse me. Uh, for other stuff. Not 100% sure what I'm going to call it, but I do know that I would like to make that at some point. Also, you may have noticed I have changed my, uh, my, my camp, my, like you say, my look. Uh, I definitely do like this one. This is, it's not my current one. I, my current one will be coming up in a bit, but it's pretty nice. New look. I have, I do have it saved. I can try and change with it any time, but it's pretty nice. The old look. The old sort of suit thing. Definitely like it. I think it's a little less edgy than my old look. Which, yeah. That's a, it, it is very cool, but it's just kind of, it's not really something you want to be wearing all the time, I guess. That's not the way I can put it. Either way, uh, his demise should be coming here somewhat soonish. But yeah, those missiles hit really hard. Like even, even in like when you're fighting him normally, they still they can do a ton of damage. Uh, the unfortunate thing about him is he only got like really one real weak point, so you gotta just target that. It's kind of annoying because he spins around so much. Because he's got a very small turn radius, I guess you could say. But yeah, we should he should be going down here fairly soon. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the main thing about his weak point is that he can always, he covers it up a lot with his little arm things. Yeah, there we go. 
next. Wait, no, Ver that's malevolent or gigantic Varus is dead. So now we move on to Nagi. Yes, here we go. Nogleth. He is. He's a bit interesting, I suppose. Um. Oh. Yeah, this, it took me, us quite a while to actually find him, so, yeah. I guess I'll use this opportunity to talk about that second channel. So, I thought about making a second channel for just some other con kinds of content I want to do. I thought about making sort of, I guess, more, I guess you could call it like art critique slash discussion videos. There's a couple ones I want to do. And there's obviously, I also have a bunch of projects, there are a couple other I want to say two two main projects and one sort of potential side project that I've been working on for a while. So that's sort of what would go on there. Although I'm not sure how interested people would be in it. So, hmm, excuse me. That would definitely be a a big a big maybe. I might want to try and do that. I don't really a hundred percent know, but. I, it's an idea. It's a thought that's been floating around in my head a bunch. Just wanted to get it out there. But yeah. Hopefully we should be seeing Mr. Mr. Nogleth soon enough. But yeah. Sometimes it takes a little while to find these guys. Because, especially in Centralia, where there's just so much land to look through. But there he is. Uh, so Nogleth, you, I believe you have seen him once before in my... Whatchamacall, you yeah, you can see me using the assault rifle now. I tend to use, I, when I was playing Ranger a lot more seriously, well, actually I'm not playing it now, I tend to use the launcher for like more static enemies, and then the assault rifle for a lot the more fluid enemies, so you'll see me use it for Auric as well, when he comes up. But yeah, uh, Nogleth, he's a lot more agile than other enemies, and he's got, he's got big, big old punchy fists. Uh, which he likes to slam into the ground and do big old AoE stuff with. He can also jump into the air, which you saw him doing like half a minute ago, and do big old big damage. And like all the other ones, yeah, kind of like that. He has a second phase, although his is by far the most obvious, because he's going to get all muscly and get all these crystals on his back, but you'll see when that happens. It will happen for probably a few minutes. But if you're wondering what those little purple things on him don't are on like his head are, that keep like going on his body those are weak bullet attacks ranger has the ability to put a weak bullet on well assault rifle ranger does but yeah he's got an ability to open freeze him to put weak bullet which on like parts of him which basically everything that hits that area does more damage pretty simple concept yeah but yeah that's what those are in case you were wondering so just a oh wow i'm guessing that's because of all those Photon burst that went off at the same time. Yeah. Un unlike PSO2, New Genesis definitely does. It makes the computer work a little bit harder, although I think they probably optimize my recording software a bit more. And I will be trying to do that in the days to come, although. My, I think the next video that. The next video. Next video, excuse me. That I. Which I already have recorded is gonna be shot the same quality, so hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully. It shouldn't be that bad. There weren't as nearly as many people. That, that's also probably a contributing factor to the fact that there's just so many people here. That also definitely doesn't help. There we go. He has entered phase two. So again, we're just going to keep wailing on this guy. But yeah, he gets a new... This this attack, which is, definitely does look pretty cool. So he just does all this stuff. There you can, he's he's kind of getting away from us now, and then there we go, big AOE. But yeah, he's uh, a lot of people find him kind of annoying. I don't know. I've sort of always been kind of mixed on him. Varus, I guess we talk about the other two. How I feel about them in terms of bosses. Uh, Daedal Axe and Daedal Sword both have way too much health. They just take forever to kill because they're kind of boring. And what you want to call it, Varus? Eh, he's all right. I don't really particularly care for him one more or the other. Same with Auric, actually, and you will hear my opinions on next Alio when the time comes. Uh, I guess 
opinions of bosses are kind of mixed well. I used to think next era, next era was pretty cool, but I swear no one bothers tries to actually attack his stupid orbs. And like, I have to tell people, hey, go for the orbs every single time we fight him. And like, oh man, it's I, it's so annoying. I've even had people like question me, like, why do we go for the orbs? And I'm like, they do 20k damage. That's why we go for the orbs. You dumb. Uh, sorry, sorry. I had to rant there about. I had to particularly not great next run today. Well, the people, there, there were some good people in it, but I swear no one went for... It was just like me and like one or two other guys going for the orbs. Like over half our group just did not seem to understand that, hey, you gotta go for the orbs. So, uh... There's, 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 there's a lot of people who complain about people not going for the orbs and I'm hardly the only one. Maybe I'll make a video about next, next Vera tips. Sorry. Yeah, next Vera tips. I might do that. I'm, I've actually thought about it after, while I was doing that sort of run, so maybe, maybe I'll do that for my next, well, next, next video. Bleh. There, there's an idea. Pettis is usually pretty fine. There's not much to say about him. Eh, I may do both. I, I'm not sure. I don't know how I have that much to say. I guess I need, I guess I need to go look into them a lot more if I really wanted to have a lot more to talk about with them, but, yeah. It's an idea. It's an idea. Alright, so we should be coming up on the end of this guy soon yes, enough. Yes, we are. Uh, so he will go down here very shortly. There we are. Well, not shortly. Yes. Alright, there we go. That is the end of Nogleth. Now we move on to the final... The final, final one that would be Gigantic's Auric. And so here we are. All right, so you can see we are in a cave. Uh, if you're wondering why, it's because Auric spawns in South Alio, and he can spawn basically anywhere, and he has a tendency to spawn in these really awkward areas, and because he flies, he also has a tendency to just sort of try and run away from you all the time. So... That's why we like to spawn him in this big old cave, which is actually under South Alio. It's a, there's an entrance under behind a waterfall, and it leads to one of the cocoons, which are these buildings where you get skill points. If you don't know what those are, but yeah, we like to. I I actually went here ahead of the, of the other guys who are now coming, and so they're all teleporting into the cocoon, walking out of it, and then entering into the cave, and then we're always going to do the level one aura together because. The gigantic enemies, the giga enemies do actually scale to the number of players, so I don't think we have a full group of 32, but we do have quite a lot of people. So, yeah, Auric is... He's not so bad, I don't really mind him. But yeah, we're focusing his big uh, thingy up there, as you can see, because it hides his little leaf point. And so we can get here, and then yeah, you can see me use my scatter shot before... Oh yeah, the... This is the point where I was subclassing into Gunner, and Gunner is actually quite a bit of fun. Well, the what you call the twin, the twin machine guns at least. It also has like a really, really, really powerful uh, photon blast. So actually, so I'll, I'll often try and switch to it in order to use its photon blast. So, oh, excuse me. If you're wondering why I was doing that, that's why. All right. Uh. Yeah, so basically we're just going to try and blast him down until we enter his second phase, which... Uh, the main deal with Auric is he mostly just flies around and he shoots a bunch of beams at you. He also has... Uh, once, he's, he's got more attacks in his second form, I'll say that much, which I believe he sh we should be entering. There we go. So yeah, I guess he's like tendril arm, but he's got like a face, so we can do... Yeah, he does like a bombing run. He's gonna laser the ground and then the big old bomb in his mouth. Ooh. He can also like smash with these little tendril things. So, so is there that as well. But yeah, I do like how he kind of, kind of transforms to get like a completely different look. Unlike Ferris doesn't really look that different. Nogos is another uh, actually pretty good with the transforming as well. But he's I think I like Oryx the best. Although next Al next Al Al Alio slash next Ferris is pretty cool as well. Definitely do like his. So, 
Yeah, again, we're just focusing the same spot, really. There's not much else to do. Just gonna pew pew his little glowy bit. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this big old laser. Yeah. He just kind of focused me. There's not much I can do. So. I think I end up actually laying down here for a little bit because people don't. Oh, never mind. Fast as I remember, but whatever. So, yeah, we're just, just gonna keep focusing the head. He's gonna keep shooting laser beams at us. And eventually he will go down. Because that's how this works. But, yeah, that's pretty much all the guys. Like I said, the blah, the giga enemies. So, you know. Well, the be Giga Oryx, Giga Dado Sword, Giga Noleth, and Giga Varus. Although, uh, to get, I'm not sure what my over. The main reason we're killing these guys is to get two things, mainly the the Dread. I forget they're, they're the Giga the Giga Augments, which are for precision, technique, and strength for the same for ranged uh, uh, photon. Uh, technique and uh, what you call it, melee damage respectively, and also the Strega line of weapons, which are six weapons, two for one for each class, and they're I've been told they're pretty good weapons, although I'm not a hundred percent sure how good they are, and also the Giant armor, which is like a special their variant of armor. They also recently added the. I forget what the, the Gleason weapons, which are lightning-based weapons that are also supposed to be pretty good, but again, I haven't really played around with them yet. I really need to get into augmenting and whatnot, but uh, I've been playing too much Final Fantasy XIV recently. <laughs> which, again, probably not going to post anything on. Just saying that again, just so you know. But yeah, he is about to die here fairly soon, so I suppose I will take this opportunity to say thank you for watching. Uh, I do hope that you find my content worth a subscription and a like as well that would be very much appreciated get any questions criticisms critiques whatever please feel free to post those in the comments i will try and respond to those as i can and uh yeah that will about do it for this video and i will see you all next time